Uh, mile after mile of roadworks. They're upgrading this very long stretch. It feels like about 10 miles, maybe more, uh, of M6 motorway to smart motorways. Now, aren't smart motorways smart? This is where they turn the um, hard shoulder into an extra lane, effectively. It can be used at peak times when there's um, excessive traffic. Uh, I was all for them for a time. Um, passing through Birmingham, where it was one of the first areas to have smart motorways installed, uh, it made a huge difference. Stopped crawling through to actually progress being made. But there have been a number of high profile accidents uh, caused by smart motorways uh, because people have just piled into the back of cars that are broken down with no hard shoulder. There is nowhere for the uh, stricken cars to go you get yes you get laybys every now and then but people are still getting caught out sometimes the laybys aren't very often uh I, I once had a catastrophic loss of power in a jaguar xk 150 on a dual carriageway dual carriageways have no hard shoulder and uh, it was absolutely terrifying uh, i lost all electrics at 70 miles an hour i was in the second lane uh, and then there was nowhere for me to go i was right up against the barrier um, just hoping no one would hit it while I waited recovery. Horrible. And uh, it, it's my opinion of smart motorways has changed quite a lot um, after an accident in which a woman broke down on I think it was a section of the M1, and she was there for 16 minutes in in a live lane before anyone noticed. And by that point, it was too late. A truck smashed into the back of her. She was killed quite what she was doing inside her car for 16 minutes I don't know if your car breaks down on a motorway get out of it get away from it uh, even if it's a really posh Jaguar XK 150 uh, yeah if you're anywhere near live traffic do not be in your car and uh, it turned out that no one was monitoring it there's some human interaction there's far less sensors than, or far fewer sensors than I thought. I thought they would be monitoring it, the traffic flow, and if something stopped, they'd be able to see it, it'd flash up. No, none of this. Add to that the fact that a lot of drivers, and I've seen this myself, especially on the M25, even if there's an X saying, do not drive in this lane, people were driving in the lanes. I think that has since become an offense, but uh, yeah, they're um, far more dangerous than I thought. Still, motorways are still the safest road you can drive on and uh, I don't wish to get all hysterical about it uh, I don't think smart motorways are horrendous but I do think there could be improvements really simple improvements if you're gonna have all lanes running live because of traffic then put a blanket 40 mile an hour speed limit on it because surely if there's congestion you want everyone slowing down so uh, that way people get less surprised if, if you're doing 60 70 miles an hour um, on, on a dual carriageway or, or motorway and suddenly encounter a stop vehicle you have so little time to react to that and I think that's one of the issues uh, especially through Birmingham the smart motorway snakes around bends which means your visibility if you're running in that first lane is quite horrific you've got you cannot see your braking distance uh, yet people go bombing along there, 50, 60, whatever the speed limit is posted. And uh, that's just not safe. I've done it a lot. I've done a lot of bombing along the um, first lane if the hard shoulder is allowed for use at that time. But I don't think I will anymore. And that rather undermines the point of all lanes running is you're meant to use all lanes. So, uh, yeah, they are definitely uh, not ideal. Well, we're back up to um, 70 miles an hour now, which is um, suddenly feeling really, really fast. But that was just some of my thoughts on smart motorways. Uh, don't get too hysterical. Don't panic too much. But uh, yeah, you certainly need to be aware that they can be a dangerous place. And uh, to be honest, I don't think we do enough driver training to tell people what to do if something goes wrong. If my engine cut out now, 
and uh, we are on a section of smart motorway actually but there's no hard shoulder here at all and it's constant all lanes running uh, I would co knock it into neutral immediately so you're maximizing your coasting potential uh, it's an emergency it's the only time I would uh, advocate coasting come on But uh, yeah, to try and limp it, it's amazing how far a car will go in neutral. Um, so knock it into neutral first of all, hazards on, um, scan all around, make sure you know what's going on. Uh, truck drivers can be your friends if they're paying attention. They will often form a bit of a metal shield around you if they sense you're in danger. And to a friend of mine, when the bonnet on his Diane blew up into his windscreen, uh, he was shepherded to the hard shoulder by a, a, it was a Belgian truck so uh, yeah and, and just get over as far as you can to the left if you make it to a lay-by brilliant if you don't just get out of the car immediately get everyone out over the wall over the barrier and stand further that way than your car I see people stand in front of their car even behind the barrier if something hits your car your car is going to become a very very scary projectile you don't want to be anywhere near in front of it and uh, yeah, basically, fingers crossed. Obviously, it pays to um, keep your cars well serviced, uh, to maximize uh, or minimize rather the risk of your car fading, but these things happen. Uh, if you get a puncture, for instance, don't stop. If you're in an unsafe place, hazards on, limp as far as you can. That tire's destroyed, uh, so you might as well just finish it off. Slow your speed down, hazards on, limp as far as you can. Don't just stop with a puncture uh, I've known people limp along the hard shoulder and get off the motorway entirely and uh, that is not a bad course of action to be honest uh, stopping on the motorway definitely in the best avoided category there you go that's rather developed into a separate hub notes um, discussion really uh, about smart motorways and the dangers thereof uh, I'll take this out of my little Matiz video and it will be a separate vlog all of its own but yeah be aware think about what might happen if your car starts to misbehave starts breaking down mentally rehearse for that scenario and I wish you much safe motoring farewell well there we go uh, I was talking about smart motorways it's a shame I wasn't recording them we just had someone broken down in the live lane and by heck did it cause some chaos uh, two lanes of traffic all suddenly stopping sensible people using their hazard lights to warn others uh, I blipped my brake lights a few times so I wanted to keep my hands on the wheel uh, yeah that was um, scary and that is the problem that broken down vehicle had nowhere to go the idiot was standing in front of his vehicle though in a live lane that is not good behavior no that's not sensible at all